It's slow, it's buggy, and it doesn't run the way it used to. So in this episode of Upgrade Your Life, how do you know if your slow, glitchy PC is infected with a virus or if it just needs an upgrade? Quickly, the basics. There are four major symptoms of a computer virus. Your system crashes or locks up often. It randomly restarts. You see strange error messages or pop-up boxes. And your system suddenly runs much slower. These are clear red flags of a virus. But viruses are sneaky. Maybe those aren't the exact symptoms that your computer is experiencing. Other clues, new toolbars in your browser, Lots of weird messages, maybe even come-ons to buy antivirus programs, and shortcuts on your desktop that you didn't put there. Yep, sure signs of malware or a virus. But let's get even geekier as we investigate. Hit start. Type in CMD. You should see this black dialog box open up. If not, big clue you have a virus. You see, viruses often block this functionality to prevent the tech support folks from uninstalling them. Next, launch the Windows Update page. Can it connect? Can you install updates? No, probably a virus. For even more clues, close all the programs you can and hit Control-Alt-Delete to launch the Task Manager. Lots of people will tell you to go through all those processes and figure out if you know what they are. Find the virus. Forget that. It's too much work. And even worse, you could end up deleting something you think is a virus, only to find out later it's a core part of the Windows operating system. But there is useful info in here. Go over to the Networking tab. If there's a lot of internet traffic and you don't have any programs open, red flag. But listen, the best way to find out if your computer's infected is to run two or three free virus scanners and see what they find. Best bets. AVG Virus Scanner, very good and free. Malware Bytes and Avast, also free and highly rated by the likes of PC Magazine and CNET. When I've suspected a virus, I run two or three of these programs just to be safe. One program may not detect every threat, but a combination of two or three is likely to isolate most viruses. Either you've got a virus-infected computer that needs to get cleaned up, or you've got a slow computer that needs to get sped up. We've got links in the article below to help you with both those jobs. Thanks for watching. For Yahoo News, I'm Becky Worley.